it's time for the grand finals between Betty and Noizel. Uh, Noizel coming from the winner's bracket and Betty looking for redemption from losers. So just as a reminder to everyone, uh, because Betty is coming in from the losers bracket, she will need to win two best of three crowns to win the tournament, whereas Noizel will only need one to take it home. And one way or the other, uh, we will be crowning a new champion for 2024. Um, long live the reign of Snipe, but tonight there will be a new queen. Let's see who it's going to be. I'm going to get these two started, and we are going to find out who is going to be our winner in just a moment. down and they're off. Interesting opening with not a lot of yellow for either player. Betty just going for the first combo she can find. She's actually going to get two combos before her first garbage drop. Uh, that call for already not looking great for Noizzle. She's going to need to address that very quickly. a bit and then cleared off the top. That's wonderful. She has a uh, blue-red setup that's unfortunately blocked at the last moment. Now her column 7 is something to be contended with, but we're on Betty's side of the board. Her board health is not looking too great either, although she is continuing to find setups here. And uh, she's finding quite a few of them. Both players really trading off though, although the center of Noizel's board is precarious now. She will need to take this red horizontal to start. But if Betty can keep getting center column garbage in this spot, that could be really bad for Noizel. She will find a setup here in the center, though. And setting up, trying to get these yellows. Luckily, does not get blocked, and she's going to have an amazing quad here. Her center is not looking great, but Betty is also at the top of the screen doing whatever she can to survive. Just an absolute slugfest. Both of these players stuck at the top of their boards. Oh, no. I don't think this setup worked out the way it was a wanted, and now suddenly she's looking in, like she's in big trouble. Oh, she's going to find some quick horizontals to chop things down and to keep on surviving. This garbage from Betty is uh, going to be very damaging. Suddenly the tables have turned pretty quickly here. Take any horizontal she can, and now she has a blue L setup that she would really like to get on this left side if she could only get some blues. Waiting for those, she'll just take the center and uh, chop things down slowly but surely, taking the safe play. Oh wow, both players just finding combos anywhere they can, not missing a single opportunity here. Noizel needs a little bit better than that. Oh, I don't think that was intended unless she's suddenly adopting an umbrella strat. I don't think she meant to do that. Now things are looking incredibly dangerous. That's a top out. Betty's going to take the first game. Already well on her way. All right, relatively diverse opening. Uh, that was an, a very interesting opening uh, move from Betty, this red-blue. But uh, it looks like she is going to find a combo in just as quick of a time as Noizel is. And... Uh, she will even send a triple back her way, taking a small uh, lead here at the start of the game. She's finding another cross. Luckily, Noizel can take her setup down before the garbage should fall, but she's going to get stunlocked again here. Both these players have to just constantly manage and recalculate their risk that they have there. Oh, going for a red horizontal near the top of the screen there is Betty. It will be broken by taking that yellow cross, and suddenly her columns 4 and 5 look very traffic-lighted, very precarious. I don't think this is what she intended. It's uh, not a great spot to be. Mm, 
And while Noizel's finding some great combos, Betty also finding a great combo. And uh, managing to even things out a little bit. Hoping for a red-yellow so she can get the, the, t the top third of the screen fat log. The blue unfortunately will block it and she'll just have to take this double instead, but I think she'll be happy that that didn't go any more awry than it had. Both players just trying to find this anywhere they can. Betty was really hoping for a blue there. She'll get a double anyway. We'll clear that blue out horizontally. Finds an amazing L into a uh, combo. Or a triple. Neither player making very much progress, but Betty's board looking definitely more dangerous. I can't believe neither player has really pulled ahead in terms of board health. Uh, I would say No Whistle's definitely in the lead, but she's still in the top half of her board. Uh, this is pretty late in the game for neither player to have really gotten anywhere. They're both just so focused on comboing each other that neither one is able to find any sort of progress. This is going to be an awkward spot for Betty, though. Not going to find a combo on that clear, and she is quickly running out of room. And the garbage is not helping. Nozzle is refusing to let up, just more and more garbage. It does not let up. Betty can't find a combo and she's running out of space! That's gonna be a top out for Betty! And just as quickly as she took the lead, Noizel brings it back to an even game. Okay, Noizel's gonna find the first combo and the second. I think Betty's gonna finally get a double here to get her first combo of this game. That's gonna be great column 2 garbage on Noizel's side of the board. She did not want to see that. again in a situation at the top of her board here, but she does have setups and she is finding a ways to keep the combos coming. Overall though, I don't see how she progresses forward. She is going to have to find some way to do that. Garbage on Betty's side is not looking good. She can maybe slide a red pull over into column one to address that. Oh, that's gonna make it difficult though. And she tries and does not get the clear on column two. Things are looking very bad for her now, and no whistle just keeps the combos coming. Oh, it's gonna pill delete the last second to stay alive, but the combos will not stop. I just no, I don't think there's any way out now. That's gonna be game two to know it. Game three to know whistle, excuse me. She is on tournament point. One more match, and she'll be your new champion. Both players taking interesting openings. No one finding a combo yet. But the whistle will find it first. Betty answering back with a triple, however. Looking for something horizontal, Betty is. Not making combos. Oh no, not like this. She's already at the top of her board. Clears out a horizontal at the last second to make sure that she doesn't die. Oh, this is a rough spot. She finds an amazing fat log at the top. But her top line is a mess. And no whistle just will not stop. Does not clear out her column four. She is going for a huge setup and she gets a triple, but she's gonna get another piece of column four garbage. She has to clear this horizontally. She has no choice. And she will survive. This is incredible survival from Betty, but now she is uh, very much in the hole in terms of board health and she needs to start finding a way to make a comeback here. She will find a triple to start those efforts off, followed up by a double. Really, just any combo she can get, I think she'll be happy with. She'll take a chunky L, that's for sure. 
And here at 43 to 43, suddenly Betty has a lot more room in the center of her board. That kids is why you never give up. Wizzle's board is starting to look a little more precarious. That garbage is going to cover a lot of setups that, uh, that Nuizel had access to. She's going to have to manufacture something now. She will take that L while she still can. A little more garbage from Betty coming down on her board. <laughs> Neither of these players are giving up. Both of them are giving it their all. They know what's at stake here. Thirty-six to thirty-five. Board health, I believe, is in favor of Betty, but it is close and very hard to call that one. Betty finding more combos. Nuizel unable to convert a setup here. She will find a triple now. Betty holding out so she can make a combo in the center of her board here. Unfortunate column four garbage for Noizzle. Doing her best to combo here. Cannot yet find it, but she will get a double now. Sometimes you just have to take what you can get. And two more doubles quickly from Noizzle. Betty answers back with a triple. Both players now, nothing immediately ready to fire. And both will find a combo at about the same time. They're they're both maintaining the same pace, uh, but the same rate of combos. Uh, this is just incredible. I believe that double yellow was a mistake for Noizel, but she is going to convert that and get two quick doubles out of it. For going some combos, some easy doubles, to get a huge triple. And uh, suddenly, I mean, looking away from Betty's side, she has a lot going on on the left here, or on the right, excuse me. She will choose to drop it down. I was going to suggest that maybe leaving that up there as a pseudo umbrella on that side might have been to her advantage, but she decides to just drop it down and take the combo that she can get. Suddenly, Noizel is beginning to approach endgame here. 17 viruses to Betty's 12, but uh, I'd say, it, I mean, at first glance, it's significantly less garbage, but it's probably much closer than it looks, as, as it often is. Triple for Betty and, and two doubles in a row for Noizel. You know, given how high up he was on the board at the start of this game, this is ended up becoming much closer than, uh, than I would have expected. She's done a fantastic job of staging this comeback, but uh, she is going to have to figure out a way to get to her viruses. Finds a drop T on Betty's side, but Noizel is quickly getting to her viruses here. This is very dangerous. Betty needs something. Stun lock again. If she can keep it up, she'll find another T. And another combo as well, I believe. Yep. Yeah, she she knows she needs to oh no, I don't think that red yellow was positioned properly there. Uh she needs a combo now. Alright, both players with relatively buried viruses here. It's hard to imagine how either player is gonna get these out. Some unfortunate drop time in her center. She caps it off, but at what cost? Now any center column garbage is going to be very dangerous for her. She's going to drop it down. Get a drop T. In that time, Noizel's going to score two doubles for a quad. Oh wow, both players still at the top. It's 
hard to see how this game is gonna end, whether it'll be by uh, a pop-out or by a full clear. At this point, I, can, I can't imagine either player losing by either method. <laughs> they're both playing so amazing, but also they're both so far away from their endgames now. Big cat gap in the center of Betty's board is really not helping her. It's really giving the whistle the opportunity to stunlock her much more easily. Yeah, we might just keep playing until we hit uh, Tetris level 19 speeds at this rate. I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen. I have seen some games get to some pretty crazy speeds, but I don't think we've ever gotten to like rolling speeds or anything like that. And more garbage is gonna come down. Betty's starting a stun lock here. Just needing to find any combo that she can to keep this going. Gives Noizel a moment. She will get a quad back, but honestly, I mean, looking at where Noizel's red viruses are uh, remaining on the board, I don't, I don't see how she's gonna break down into this. Betty just, as long as Betty keeps the pressure on, I don't think that Noizel can get those viruses out. Virus cleared for Betty now. She is getting closer to her viruses. She's going to be sending a triple No Wizzle's way. Now halfway up her board, her virus is tucked in the bottom left corner. Betty might actually be making the comeback here. No Wizzle getting a set of doubles here. And another. This is incredible. Betty is starting to expose her viruses, and now No Wizzle's on the back, but now No Wizzle needs to start laying the pressure on in order to stay in this. If she wants to close it out here, it's going to be necessary, but uh, Betty is about to be one virus away. It is quite buried, but uh, I say she has a better shot at it. Oh, maybe not. No Wizzle's actually getting to the bottom of her board. She just needs a red. That's going to be it. Wow, I did not see that coming. No Wizzle is going to take it 3 to 1, and No Wizzle is your May 2024 monthly checkup champion. What a crazy final game. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm at a loss for words. She managed to cut a path down the center there. I didn't know if it was going to be possible, but she found a way, and she managed to beat Betty to that last virus. That was incredible.